It's quite the find. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So for this week's video, I'm going to do something a little different than I've done before. Um, I'm going to talk to you about a purchase that I made recently at Goodwill. Um, it's basically going to be story time at first, and then uh, there's a little contest that I'm going to be doing because of what happened in the story that I'm about to tell you, and then I'm going to kind of go in a in another direction, but you will see as I go. So we're going to talk about handbags this week, um, vintage Judy and Burke handbags in particular. Now, I used to do a lot of high-end fashion resale in my earlier days on eBay, and I've mentioned this before in other videos that I kind of moved to a location that doesn't really have that kind of stuff too often, so I kind of had to change my genre in a way um, in what I sell, and I still do find high-end items every once in a while around here, but it's not incredibly common. So knowing that, fast forward to uh, a week or two ago, I was at Goodwill and I saw a vintage Dooney and Burke purse. Now I will admit something, I have sold a lot of purses in my days on eBay, but I've never ever sold a vintage Dooney. So this was an item out of my area of expertise. So I was looking at the price. I, I felt like it was it was priced fairly. I knew it didn't have the strap it was supposed to have, but I went and purchased it anyways, knowing that I wasn't sure if it was authentic or not. And this might be an all too familiar tale. If you've ever taken a chance on a handbag, it's sometimes ends up becoming a bad buy if you don't know how to authenticate it right off the bat. I could authenticate a Louis Vuitton, a Coach, uh, Chanel. I could, I could identify so many other brands with my eyes shut, but this, but Dooney, I could not. So this was something new that I was not familiar with. So I have the purse down here. It's a doctor's style bag has nice pebbled leather, and at quick glance, it looks pretty nice. But I did not know anything about this style of bag, and I'd come to learn as I did some more research uh, when I got home that this bag is in fact fake. This is not a real Dooney. They, they had these bags heavily faked, apparently, um, back in the 80s and 90s, and this bag, this all-weather Dooney, was heavily faked. And of course, these are the things you learn afterwards, if you knew then what you know now, type deal. But it is such a cute bag, and I thought to myself, even without the strap, somebody's going to want to carry this because it's really, really cute. <laughs> and people like these vintage bags, people of all ages. So... Anyway, I am going to show you all um, why this bag is fake. We're going to talk about authenticating Dooney bags because I've done a lot of research on it now and I have the knowledge to share with you all so this does not happen to you if you resell handbags. And maybe, you you know, some of you may know this already, but, you know, maybe there's one little tidbit or something that that you weren't aware of and something to look out for. I don't know. But if for no other reason, um, since I cannot sell this bag on eBay because it is not authentic, what am I going to do with it? Could I carry it around myself? Absolutely, because it is very cute. But you know what? I thought I've never done a contest or sweepstakes or anything on my channel. Of course, my channel is relatively new, so there's got to be a first time for everything, right? I thought, you know what? Why don't I make my loss one of your gains? Since I can't sell it, might as well give it away, right? So I am going to give one lucky viewer this bag. So here's how it's going to work. If you would like this bag, if you think it's cute, if you want to, you know, 
carry it around. It's very spacious. Um, feel free to leave a comment saying want, W-A-N-T. If you want this bag, I would like to know. And for my video next week, I will do a sort of live kind of drawing. I'll, I'll put the names of people that expressed interest in a, in a generator so that they, that one name gets picked. I'll announce it. I'll respond to the comment in case that person isn't watching and let them know. And then we'll connect and I'll get the bag shipped to you. So this bag could be yours. Comment want. And of course, as always, like and subscribe if this is topic content that you're interested in uh, reselling, you know, you, you, you know, if you really want to get great at it and make a lot of money, you often end up finding yourself in multiple different categories. And I would encourage, I would encourage even the men watching this to familiarize themselves with purses because you can make some great money on purses. I made great money on purses and got myself out of a lot of credit card debt for many, many years. So purses can be great. Um, you know, some locations are better than others for them, but Knowledge is power, and the more you know about how to find an authentic bag, the, the better your, you know, buying will be, the better your profits will be, because <laughs> this one here is going to give me no profits, because it's not real. So don't be like me, and be in a rush, and pick up something that you're not too familiar with. Know what you're buying. Learn from my mistakes. But anyways, my last can be your game, so yeah, do comment want if you would like this bag. So we're going to talk more about Dooney and Burke and why this Dooney is fake and what does a real Dooney look like. I happen to own a real Dooney. It just does not look like this. It's a much newer one and I'll show you and I'll show you some comparisons and I, you know, of course I don't have an authentic version of this particular bag so it's not going to be the greatest comparison on earth but I'm going to do my best to explain to you all what's the difference between, you know, fake vintage and real vintage Doonies, okay? So here we go. Why is this Doonie fake? What is it about this Doonie that's fake? A lot of things, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to go into the bag first. Now, this zipper here, the authentic Doonie zippers are actually pretty similar. Uh, and you know, with a vintage, I wasn't honestly sure if there'd be any kind of embossing on it. So this is just your plain um, K, what do they call it? K and K zipper, nothing fancy, right? So apparently even back in the 80s and 90s, they were putting Dooney, Dooney on, you know, on the zipper. So fake indicator number one. Now, when you go into the Dooney, one thing that's correct about this bag is there is black suede on the inside as there is supposed to be on this bag. A lot of fakes, fake vintage Doonies, might have different color variations on the inside, like this black may have a tan. However, this is black suede on, on the sides, um, on the inside. There's also some, you know, pebbled leather as well at the bottom, which, which you know, is is an indicator of, of an authentic bag as well. However, um, there's also supposed to be a tag on the side in here, in this part. There is no tag, nor is there any indication that there was one. It's, it's in this particular model, it's a red, white, and blue tag on the, on the inside there is a serial number, well, like on the flip side of the tag. This bag does not have that. <laughs> it has no tag whatsoever. No serial number, no nothing. But in my mind, I thought, well, hey, you know, this is a vintage bag. Maybe they weren't taking all those steps to, uh, you know, make the bag more legit looking back then because I just didn't know enough about Dooney at the time. Um, so, yeah, you need to have that tag. There's also, a, you know, a strap that goes with this bag that it didn't have, but that wasn't a deal breaker to me. However, I also noticed that where the tag goes, this this is not even in the right place. <laughs> um, the real one, it's it's more centered. So this bag, you know, is 
is definitely not authentic, as I've said. Uh, but there's a few other uh, indicators as well. So this fob right here looks actually pretty good. It, it feels, it's not plastic. It's, it's you know, brass as far as I can tell, which authentic Doonies do have brass hardware. So, um, so this, I'm going to zoom in closely. On this one, notice how close the duck's bill is to its back. On a authentic Dooney, the duck's bill will have space between the bill and the back. This one is basically touching fake. <laughs> and, and this logo here, this leather, this all weather logo, um, it's a little puffier uh, than, the, than the authentic version like this duck really sticks out uh so that's another sign um of a fake because that's just not how how the leather is on that on that logo also the leather on this is not incredibly soft not the softest leather it has that pebbled look which would indicate you know an authentic bag but it is not very soft it's a little more rough so that's a sign. And, you know, again, there's things on this bag that, you know, at quick glance look authentic, like the patina on the leather um, is aged looking. Um, you know, if you find if you find one of these that has lighter leather, that's probably a red flag because this is a vintage bag and these these bags age and get darker as they age. Patina, you know, looks looks good um, on this bag, but not real. Also, down below, we have these little legs. Not sure what the exact name of these is, <laughs> but on the authentic Dooney, they're they're more pointy, and these are more rounded. So again, not not real. And the stitching on this bag actually looks really good. Like I, I would still consider this, you know, a pretty high end knockoff. These this stitching, it, it's it's even. It's not spaced incredibly wide. Um, looking at my authentic duty, it, it looks pretty comparable. So uh, the stitching, they did a, they did a nice job on that. But this bag, like I said, is not real. Not real. I'm going to show you a real one and I'll show you kind of what you, what you want to look out for, you know, based on what I've, what I've just told you. But the... The real Dooney. Now, granted, this is a this is a, di a totally different style of Dooney, and this is authentic, and I know so because I purchased this myself um, off their website. So this is my New England Patriots Dooney. If you ever find these, these these resell very nicely. Not just Patriots, but I mean any any of the sports themed Dooneys uh, seem to do very well. The Disney Dooneys also do well. Uh, also are heavily faked. So just be careful on the Disney ones, especially. But this is an authentic Dooney for sure. So obviously there's going to be differences in style. The little feet on the bottom of this one, notice they are rounded. And in selecting that one, I thought about my Dooney and, and they, they are very similar. However, Mine is real, that one is not. <laughs> and it's a different style. So you can't always compare just with what Dooney does in general. Like you need to look at each specific bag. But basically I'm showing you this one uh, for the sake of the tag because the tag is is comparable um, with, you know, other Dooney's. So where are you, tag? Here it is. So this Dooney... It's a newer one. It actually has two tags, but this tag, when it comes to the vintage, uh, is is what you're what you're looking for. Something similar to this. Their tags, you know, they've changed a little over the years, but but this red, white, and blue one um, is one that they commonly use on a lot of handbags and, and have over the years. So there is a serial number on the back. You want that. You don't want like a made in Korea or something on the back. They've never made Doonies in Korea. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, the, 
there's the tag. And this Dooney actually has a second tag with, with a different serial number on it. I thought maybe it would match, but it doesn't. But again, this is an authentic bag. So if you see that, do not, do not, you know, assume that the bag isn't, isn't real. That's not, that's not a thing. So that there might be two different serial numbers. I don't know why they do it. I'm not a Dooney expert. I'm just telling you what I've observed in the research that I've done. So it may be of some assistance to you. So yeah, Dooney's are very high quality bags. And the leather on this bag is very, very soft. Very soft. It's pebbled, but the pebbling is, is like smaller pebbles, I guess you could describe it, than, than the other one, than the fake one. So yeah, this is, I love this bag. It's a little big. Sometimes I go through phases where I don't want huge bags. So I, I don't always carry this bag, but I try to break it out during football season a little bit. But yeah, if you ever see uh, wallets or, or handbags, that are like this, they, they do sell very well because sports fanatics that don't even really like Dooney, like myself, <laughs> like I'm not a super huge Dooney fan, but I like having a nice quality handbag that has sports stuff on it. So that's one thing that Dooney has kind of the monopoly on. So yeah, these, these sell great. So that's basically the video. It's not a super extensive breakdown. Um, there's other details you know, that you can look out for, that you can find online. But I just wanted to give you all a quick overview just so you can eliminate obvious fakes right off the bat. Um, you, you know, there's great knockoffs out there that might stump you and, and might, you know, be left for the ex best left for the experts. But, um, but at least this, hopefully this helps you eliminate some bags, you know. But I encourage you all to do your research Selling handbags can be very lucrative. Um, vintage bags definitely are desirable. Um, really all kinds of, of handbags are desirable unless they're a very like outdated look to them. But there are many timeless bags out there that people will carry throughout the years. Um, and I do believe that this Dooney, uh, fake Dooney, is, is one of those. So if you would like this all-weather Dooney, that is not authentic. <laughs> Definitely leave that comment, want, and tune in next week to next week's video when I draw the winning name. And hopefully it's you. Uh, in the meantime, this is Crow's Thrifty Finds. I'll see you next week.